Welcome back to my daily vlog where I take you inside of my life as I juggle my family, my fitness journey, and the future of work as an entrepreneur and an investor. Today, I broke one of my morning routines. It's something that I try not to do in the morning, but unfortunately, I broke that rule. But luckily, as I was walking to work, I found a lucky penny that changed my whole day. Um, check this out. Let me show you. In the morning, I do my best to avoid my phone at all costs because of this notification center. And usually it's filled up with more stuff. So I tried my best not to touch my phone in the morning because it, all, it will distract me from getting focused in the morning and doing what I need to do to get into the right mind frame. So by all costs, I try to avoid the notification center. I know I said that I don't check my notifications in the morning and I usually don't, but I just, I got a text from someone who was looking for a branding, a branding service, um, a logo to get a logo design and some other things. Um, and I had to move pretty fast. So this morning I'm up, I'm up. Um, so this morning I'm off to the races because if someone wants a service from you, you have to deliver. The only challenge right now is the agency, the web development design agency that I am acquiring, I'm still, we haven't signed the paperwork, nor, which we should do in the next couple days, nor I'm still learning their systems and their processes. So I just messaged uh, the CEO, the founder, of that company just really quick. Hey, how much do you charge? What are the processes? So this is a good test. This is a good initial test um, to see how they work, um, to see how we work together. So it's always good to start with a small project um, because that's gonna be the easiest way. I mean, we've done Zoom calls. I mean, you could only get so much from Zoom calls, but when you really have a project a small project that you can work on together. That's the greatest way of, of seeing, you know, if it's going to work. And this is a good time to really check the red flags. And, you know, on both of our parts, they can check my red flags. I can check their red flags. But today I'm, I'm off to the races. I'm about to head to the gym. I'm going to get a little workout in. And then I'll probably... Uh, go to find some coffee somewhere. Do you pick up a penny? Where do you see it? I do. So in between my planks, I have to, let me put this back here a little bit more. In between my planks, I'm, I'm communicating with the team in Ghana. They're, they're, it's about four hours different, so it's about three or four hours ahead. And uh, so I'm communicating with them, getting their process. Um, already got a quote lined up. Uh, so I'm just waiting to get the process and how they take payments um, and then we're gonna see if we can make this happen But that would you know, that would be a really good start to the to the relationship because when he when I messaged him He was like wow, that's fast and that's the reputation That I want to go into a project with I want to go into a like we move fast. So I'm in between I'm kind of you know trying to figure it out as I go um, until I get into the weeds of their processes um, that was the next phase um, of what we're, what I was doing, is just to get into the weeds. I haven't had the chance to do that yet, but we're gonna make up something right now, just so we can uh, complete a deal, complete this this deal. We're making this happen all on the fly. Here we go, right here. It's happening all on the fly. I never forget working with the CEO at a ed tech company, and he would always emphasize, stay organized, stay organized. 
and he would go into the Google Drive and make sure everything was organized. And at first, I thought it was pretty um, OCD, um, but I understand now why he continued to say, stay organized. Because that's the key. You're not going to get anything done if you're not organized. Like this morning, you know, something, you know, a, a potential service deal came in and I wasn't organized, not because I didn't want to be organized. It was because I'm still working out the kinks with the agency. Now I'm going back into my project management system. I use ClickUp and I'm getting everything organized. I'm going back into my Google Drive and making sure everything's organized so that I can move at the speed that I need to move at. Um, so I'm sitting here thinking about him you know, constantly saying stay organized. So I just left the coffee shop, uh, came down here to the Arts Park to take a nice little walk around this uh, track. I guess it looks like a track, but I just take a couple of laps around it, but um, needed to get some fresh air. Quite, quite simple. Needed to get some fresh air. And um, as I was walking over here, I was thinking about the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Um, it's a documentary that's on Netflix. And one of the things that his dad told him when he was young was to be useful. No matter what he does, no matter what endeavors, you know, he took on or pursued, his dad told him to always just to be useful. And that's a, you know, it's two, it's only two words, but they're very, they're very powerful words. Um, and it's a very um, good lens to see everything out of like, asking yourself, am I being useful? Am I being useful? Um, and that's one of the things that, um, as I was walking here, I was thinking that because, I mean, that's what business really is. You know, that's what it really is. It's just being useful. I mean, it's not that deep. I know we, we try to make it complicated. We try to complicate it, but the reality is it's just being useful. I mean, that applies to life and business. So just a reminder, be useful. So if you watched the last episode, you know I had an experience. I told a story about how uh, my wife asked me to go to an event. I and I told her yes, but I really meant no. And when I really reflected more on it deeply, it brought me to this framework called Radical Candor. Radical Candor. There's a book out there. I, f I can't think of the author off the top of my head. But I just want to just draw really quick how this actually works and where I fell um, in this quadrant. So it starts off with the quadrant. So I hope you can see this. All right, I'm gonna make two quadrants. You have your X and you have your Y. And this quadrant is based off of two different things. So you either care personally. That means this is how much care, I hope you can see that. Anyway, it says care personally. This is how much you care for the person and this is the, the level of it. And then the next one is, um, is a direct challenge directly. So how much you'll challenge that person directly. So that those are the lines of, of those are the, uh, the um, accesses that, that it's on. So the different quadrants is, so yes, I cared a lot about my wife in that situation, but I didn't challenge the notion of um, the event. So in this quadrant, it's called ruinous 
empathy. Or a lot of people just call it Mr. Nice Guy. Um, and then here there's, there's really no change. It's like ignorance. If you stay in that place, and it, there's no change. Please forgive the handwriting. That's where I was at yesterday. For that, for that split moment when I said yes, and I just want to preface, this is great for leading teams as well. But I just want to just use my story as an example so that you can see you know, how this all works. Uh, the other place is you don't care about the person and you don't challenge them directly, then you, you just become manipulative. You just manipulate, manipulating people where well, you create mistrust. You create mistrust and you get no change, just like up there. So you see those people, you know, when you're giving feedback or receiving feedback, you can tell if it's manipulative or not. Then the other place is where you don't really care about the person and you'll challenge them directly. So that's obnoxious, obnoxious aggression. Some people call them a-holes. Um, and in there, it's a very defensive stance um, to feedback and giving, and, you know, giving like feedback to someone. But what I want to talk about, well, what I'm talking about here is here. You want to be here. Where you care personally about, you care very deeply about the person. You took the time to get to know them. And then you challenge directly. That's called radical candor. And this is where you want to be. This is where growth really happens. So when I was in that situation, I had to, I was reminded of this chart. I was reminded of this, this framework. Um, and this is great for leading teams too. So radical candor. So I just jumped on Twitter and I was going through and someone that I follow, Cody Sanchez, who's a business person, and she said something that basically what I was saying earlier is she called it a frame of mind. If it's not F yes, it's a no. And that's that was that must be a sign. I don't know. <laughs> so I am done for the day. Um, today was a really nerve wracking but exciting day, and as I reflect back on the day, it was one of those things where. Um, the, the, the saying that goes, when opportunity and preparation meet, that's when success happens. And that's what pretty much happened. I, I literally, as you saw, I was preparing myself, um, the processes um, of the new company, uh, on the fly. So when the opportunity arose, I was ready for it. So with that said, if there's anything um, in the video uh, that resonates with you, definitely want to hear from you. Um, in the comments, I'll be spending some time in the comments, about 10, 15 minutes. Um, if you don't have the time, I totally get that. Um, give me, give the, the, the video a like, um, just so I know that, you know, that it's, it's resonating. Also, let the algorithms know that something exciting is happening. With that said, peace.